last year i did a reel on insta that went viral and got a lot of backlash the video was how i saved i think thirty thousand dollars by buying luxury goods it is assumed that if a person looks a certain way i.e not like me it is assumed that they can do it all they can buy the luxury they can make the investments they can save they can travel they can do all of the things but when you see me and people who look like me you assume that we are choosing. We are over our heads in debt. We are just, just stuck in the house wearing our luxury goods because we can't afford to buy a plane ticket. So if you did not see my last video and you have no clue why I am clapping back, take a second and watch that video and then come back and watch this in all of my other videos. As I'm here and be at the new to a vlog. No, vlogs are when you like spend time with me to a chit chat. <laughs> Say moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. Seagull Play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog and TikTok. I, I just cannot get it together. So today's video, it's a video. That's what it is, not a vlog. It's a video. Today's video is based off of the video that I posted titled, Why I Am No Longer Buying Luxury Handbags. My knees get weak every time I utter those words. <laughs> and I think you can see why. <laughs> that video did so well. And by so well, I mean in my standards. If you are new here, we do not compare ourselves to anyone else. The goal is to be a better person than you were the day before, the hour before, the minute before. In the world of social media and just human nature, it's so easy for us to constantly compare ourselves with other people. Stop it. You, me, she, he, the. <laughs> We've got to stop it. I saw those numbers on that video and I just wanted to pop a bottle of champagne, which I was going to do anyway because I celebrate all the things. But that made me so happy and it also attracted new Mazami. So if you came here from that previous video, let's do like a handbag emoji or something. But type words too, so it won't look like spam. <laughs> but I noticed in that video, as much love and support and an agreement as most people were with that video, there were still messages that did not rest well avec moi, which is why I am recording this video. It is about the scarcity mindset. It is about the passive aggressive. It is about the microaggression that is pretty prevalent in the realm of luxury goods, but only when it pertains to certain people. Was that a long enough pause? <laughs> And if you are new here, and I'm going to say that often because there's so much we have to catch up on. So I hope you spend time just like binge watching all of my other videos. But if you are new here, I practice protecting my space. I invite anyone to join me. I appreciate you all more than you know, but that comes with a caveat. I am so big on protecting and preserving the community that we have built here. And there are certain things I just don't allow, which I will speak upon on this video. So in that video, the why I'm no longer buying luxury handbags, I started getting messages along the lines of, and I should have taken screenshots. I wouldn't have put the person name. I would have deleted that out. I am very protective of other people's identities and just anonymity. I wish I had taken a screenshot before I deleted it, but I got messages along the lines of, LOL, while you're busy buying designer purses, my savings account is stacked, my 401k is thriving. I'd rather travel. I'd rather do this, this. I knew those people were new because Vintage Mezzanine know that I buy most of my bags while traveling. Vintage Mezzanine know that so much of the platform that we have built here on Cappuccinos and Consignment is solely based on personal finances. I invented the double method. What is the double method, you inquire? The double method is 
before you buy any luxury purses, save double that amount. I'd say last year I did a reel on Insta that went viral and got a lot of backlash. The video was how I saved, I think, $30,000 by buying luxury goods. So I shared that anytime I buy a bag, it, anything, anytime I buy a luxury item, I double the amount. So easy math because the math ain't mathing all the time. And I am actually tired. My toddler is sick. If there is a $2,000 bag that I want to buy, I save $4,000. I buy the purse with the $2,000 and I put $2,000 into my savings. You pay yourself before you pay anyone else. That is the thing. So when I saw those comments, one, it let me know that you're not a real one. You, you didn't even take time to watch my other videos. <laughs> and two, it showed me the scarcity mindset that so many of us have. And it's sad. It is so sad that we have been conditioned to believe that we have to choose or that people who are consuming have already made a choice. Oh, she has a lot of designer bags, so she must be in debt. Oh, she has a lot of designer goods, so she doesn't travel much. Why is that a thing? In this day and age, when we are so connected, you see people doing all the things, but yet, we still, I, I'm, I'm not going to even say we, because I don't make those comments. And I know my mess, I me, do not. You, person who left those comments, why do you still feel the need to say things like that? You do not have to choose. And you also do not have to put other people down to justify whatever it is that you are doing. If you do not want to buy luxury goods, don't. Was that a long enough pause? <laughs> if you would rather travel the world versus buying luxury goods, do. If you prefer quiet luxury over monogram, keep it cute and keep it quiet. You do not have to put other people down to make yourself feel better. And that's really what it's about. A lot of people will not say it, but it is true. When I get those comments about, oh, that looks so poor, all of those labels, all of those monograms, rich people would never buy those kind of things. You're not rich. The person leaving those comments, I will bet all my designer bags that you are not rich because a rich person wouldn't waste their time leaving messages as such on my broke. <laughs> what I was about to say, fill in the blank. <laughs> on my page, they just wouldn't. Actually, that should be another video. Pause that. We're, we'll, we'll get on that in another video. But the scarcity mindset, it is so many layers that goes into that. Because I can tell you, and this is not to make things racially awkward, culturally awkward, or any of those things. It is a reality. Perhaps it's my reality, but I've seen it on other people's platform as well. People who do not look like me, I don't see comments along those lines on their pages because it is assumed and if a person looks a certain way, i.e. not like me, the exact opposite of me, it is assumed that they can do it all. They can buy the luxury, they can make the investments, they can save, they can travel, they can do all of the things. But when you see me and people who look like me, you assume that we are choosing. We are over our heads in debt. We are just, just stuck in the house wearing our luxury goods because we can't afford to buy a plane ticket. It's such a limited belief. Perhaps that is your reality. And I have had to learn that. I'm checking for email. I have had to learn that during my time here on social media, that so many of the comments, especially the low rent ones that I receive, it's not about me. It's projection. Perhaps you are not in a financial situation where you can do it all. You can do the travel. You can do the saving. You can buy the luxury goods. Perhaps that is your reality. Don't project that on me and do not project that on others, whether they look like me or not. That's where you are right now. Not everyone is there. Trust me, there was a time when I couldn't afford to look at luxury goods, but I never shamed people for enjoying what they could. Here, on cappuccinos and consignment, soon to be possibly renamed. My heart is beating so fast because where things are going, 
it's coming to the point where I have to start sharing more, like my last name, <laughs> things that I've never shared. So here on this space, it is safe. It is safe for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to use a Fendi toothpick, do it. If you want to use well, a thrifted toothpick, that will be gross. Um, horrible analogy. Whatever it is that you want to do, you are safe to do it here. We do not judge here. We do not here in this space that we have built together. We have people... We're, we're just so vast. I receive messages from 78 year old women in Scandinavia, 13 year old girls in Suitland, Maryland. It is so vast, the community that we have built. And with that, not all of us can travel to Paris monthly. Not all of us can buy luxury goods and that is okay. But what we won't do is make people feel bad for what they can and cannot do. Because I am famous for saying this. I actually said it on the news. I was on a talk show. I'm going to link that below too. It was so awesome. I manifested that, but that's a whole other thing. I shared that your today is not your tomorrow. So the things that you may be judging people on next week, your life can change drastically and you too could be trotting around in your designer luggage and or you just may have a change of taste. Perhaps you can afford to buy luxury goods, but you choose not to. You may change your mind. That is the beauty of waking up every morning, every single morning that we or night, depending on your sleep schedule. Every time that you wake up, you have the option to make a choice. And some things that I chose yesterday, some things that I chose last year, I wouldn't choose again. And that's okay. That is the beauty of being blessed. I back another day. So if you did not see my last video and you have no clue why I am clapping back, take a second and watch that video and then come back and watch this and all of my other videos. I would appreciate it so much. Let's stop with all of the scarce thinking over on Insta and TikTok, which I treat as the same thing. And that the creative brain cells are shrinking as I speak. <laughs> I have shared on my social media platforms to just stop, whether that's parenting. I see that all the time. Oh, I'd rather travel the world and have all these fabulous experiences versus having kids. Why do you have to say that? Just travel the world, just have your experiences. Why do you have to create FOMO for the mother? Why do you have to do that? Because it's possible to do it all. I am the mother who, if you check those vlogs, I have fabulous experiences. You do not have to choose. Repeat, avec moi. You do not have to choose. So stop projecting. Stop with the passive aggressiveness. Is that, I feel like that's a word. And stop with the microaggression. Just because someone is doing one thing does not mean that they cannot do the other. Merci beaucoup for joining me for this TED Talk. <laughs> I'm manifesting that too. <laughs> Holla at my people, Ted. <laughs> Merci beaucoup for joining me, mes amis. I appreciate you all so much. I um, I need to take a nap. I'm, I'm so drained. Like, I am barely alive. I am hanging on by a very fabulous designer thread right now. <laughs> Actually, this is thrifted. This is a thrifted J. Crew top that I can tell you, oh my goodness, the construction superior. I got that off of TikTok if you didn't know. <laughs> Alrighty, ciao for now.